Hello, I'm Damon Maddox. I live in Houston, Texas. This is my media room. It is a Dolby Atmos theater and two channel designated room. I technically, when I bought this house, was a extra bedroom for my house, but I decided to move it to turn it into a dedicated movie room. I put in a 5.1 channel system in here, and then it, it sounded okay, but it wasn't great. And then I decided to upgrade during COVID, as we all were sitting in our house, I decided to upgrade it to full Dolby Atmos. So I have two speakers overhead, three in the front, two on the side, two in the back. Uh, and then I have two subwoofers up front. So that's what I did with this room, put in this riser, and then the room was super boomy. There was a lot of low end, say around 50 Hertz sound that was created in this, this room. It's 11 and a half by 11 foot ceilings by 15 foot long. And so it was a little, it was boomy. There was no doubt about it. And it was with two small 10 inch woofers that I had in the room and it was uncontrollable. We decided we wanted to get some acoustic panels for the room. So I went with this one company and I went online to use their online tool that they have where I put in the size of the room. And then they had a consultation with me and said I needed to get their foam acoustic panels for the entire room. And hey, you need to have them this deep because it's we need to capture some of that bass in your room. And so I went ahead and ordered. I think I spent between a thousand, twelve hundred bucks. I thought that was worth doing just in case it was wrong. Uh, put them in the room and it did well in the mid to highs. But again, the room was still very boomy uh, at that 50 hertz range. And so I'm, I called them back up and said, hey guys, you, you did nothing with the bass. So I started doing research and I... I'm in my room here and so I just started watching YouTube videos and randomly trying to do acoustic panels. I found Acoustic Fields, their, their YouTube channel, Dennis Foley giving us all that information that he gives us on all of their videos. And so I'm watching them. I could have watched them all, but I doubt it because there's so many of them, but I watched a lot on them, especially when dealing with movie rooms and two channel systems, and things like that. And I saw those big boxes, as you see in the room, they're all over the place. Um, they are their ACDA 10 and ACDA 12, I believe, uh, boxes that do from 40 to 100 hertz. And I called Dennis, asked him some more questions, and he said, let's do this, this, and this, and this to the room. He goes, it's not going to take care of 100% just because of your room size, but it'll take care of some of it. And I said, okay, let's draw it up, see how much they are. And he told me how much they were. And I think I paid between six and $8,000 for this entire room to be. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, well, I've spent a total in this room of about $35,000. And that's carpentry work, install, acoustic panels, um, and then all the speakers that are in the room and the amps and the, um, the processor that I have that runs Adobe Atmos and put them in the room, got everything up and running, did the Odyssey room correction and all that to get everything under control. Holy cow. It made a huge difference. In fact, it took so much of the 10 inch subwoofer, the Bauer and Wilkins 10 inch woofers that I had, it was their 200 Watts per channel subwoofer. It, a lot of the low end went away. It controlled it completely, but I had to go with a little bit bigger, a little more powerful. And then I upgraded to the rel and this room, it changed. The location of the speakers went away and it just became one room of sound and it sounded incredible. I spend so much time in this room now. My wife calls it the mistress because I can come up all day and be gone all day and she thinks I'm out with the mistress.
So that is my story about the mistress and my movie room and two channel room and Dennis Foley at Acoustic Fields made it happen. Thanks, Dennis.